In 1835, Charles Darwin visited the Galapagos Islands, the location that famously inspired him to adopt the theory of evolution. Since then, observations of beak shapes in Darwin's finches have provided case studies for studying evolution in the wild. Now, an invasive parasitic fly is taking a toll on baby finches on the islands, threatening some species to extinction, but also providing biologists an opportunity to investigate host parasite evolution. The parasite was accidentally introduced by humans in the 60s and was discovered by researchers only in the late 90s. Over time, more and more fly larvae have been popping up in finch nests to feast at night on the blood and flesh of baby birds. In the past 15 years, these grizzly acts have killed more than half of all finch nestlings. Birds lucky enough to survive are often left with deformed nostrils, lowering the pitch of their bird songs. In response to these attacks, chicks have learned to stack on top of one another, sacrificing the weakest chick to preserve the brood. Parent birds spend time picking larvae out of nests. In turn, the parasites have become more virulent, infesting nests earlier and feeding on younger chicks. But too quick a kill leaves the parasites without a host. There is evidence that the flies have begun to adapt to finches by shrinking in size and giving birth to fewer offspring. Mysteries remain. The steady increase in the number of flies in nests has not always been in lockstep with higher death rates, confounding biologists. And some species, such as the mangrove and medium tree finch, are especially vulnerable, while others are surprisingly tolerant. It's not clear what makes certain birds more tolerant, but these species might serve as parasite reservoirs, accelerating the demise of more susceptible neighbors. Further study of the host parasite dynamics in this unique case may reveal new understanding about rapid evolution and how to save Darwin's finches.